but our yellow-billed hornbill is looking ever so delightful in the sunshine. And just sitting, having a bit of a groom. Now hopefully it will turn its beak and we'll be able to see its beautiful yellow color. Now don't put your head that side. Oh, there we go, that's better. A bit of cleaning going on. Must have had a meal recently. I often find these guys, once they've had something to eat, they'll then fly up onto a branch like this and they rub their beak on either side so that they can clean up everything, get rid of any bits of exoskeleton if it was a beetle or if there's a grub, any bits of its body fluids that might be stuck on the beak and just make sure the beak's in good condition. But I'm surprised that this bird's got its mouth open like this. Generally, you don't see their mouths open like that unless it's quite hot and that's when they'll practice gular flutter. So maybe it's had a bit of a morning of interaction with another hornbill. Sometimes you'll find they'll fight over territory and it's built up a bit of heat and that's why the mouth is open like that, or beak should we say, is open like that. Strange. Always got a blocked nose. Snazzy, you say it's such a cool bird. They are cool birds. I like hornbills. They've got a lot of character and they, they're not the brightest bird, make no mistake. You often find them, if you've worked at any of the lodges, you will have a story of a hornbill pecking at its reflection. So it sees itself and because they're quite territorial, it will try and chase off this reflection and it wants that one to go away. And so there's lots of kind of pecking at the window and they headbutt the glass and they go a bit crazy. So not the brightest when it comes to that, but they have lots of character and they are incredible in what they're able to feed off and what they're able to um, find in terms of food items and dispatch. We've, we've seen them going after very large scorpions quite regularly. So it's quite an amazing bird from that point of view. Now it's flying off a little bit. So I think what we're going to do, Senzo, can you look at that bird there on the top right of this dead tree?